Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Cal Kent. He made his first full appearance in DC 1 Million, issue number one in 1998. And he's simply known as the Superman of the 853rd century. He has similar proportions to the original Superman, Kal-El, including having black hair and blue eyes. Now, of course, he has all the powers of a normal Kryptonian under a yellow sun, but due to him being evolved and being from the far future, in addition to having a bloodline that stemmed from the original Superman and has been mixed with alien and fifth dimensional being genetics, he actually has extra powers that normal Kryptonians don't. He's easily known as the most powerful iteration of Superman and member of the Superman family, except for Kal-El himself in the far future, being known as Superman Prime. Now, Cal Kent has massive superhuman strength, at a minimum being more powerful than the gravitational pull of a collapsing star. He's even been noted in one occasion as being able to punch through time itself to get back to his original century. In addition to this extraordinary superhuman strength, he's also invulnerable, has superhuman speed, superhuman senses, vortex breath, arctic breath, flight, x-ray vision, and heat vision. These would all be things that a traditional powered Kryptonian could do yet just boosted to a higher level. As I stated a second ago though, there are additional powers that he has due to his mixed heritage and being more highly evolved. These would include super ESP, which would be extrasensory perception, a form of telepathy, something known as force vision, electromagnetic manipulation, and an additional 10 senses. This isn't even counting his ability to communicate with technology and computerized devices, and being able to manipulate any object around him using a form of telekinesis. Additionally, since I brought up computers, he's also noted as having a super speed of thought, being able to calculate several billion calculations at the same time. Now, the energy source for Cal Kent's powers actually stem from the original Superman Kal-El and Earth's Super Sun of the future. It has to be noted that both of these two things are critical, this was displayed in a storyline where he was in the past and his power slowly began to fade even though he was under the normal yellow sunlight. But while he's in the future, he has a well-known saying that he stated about himself, saying that he's, and I quote, faster than a speeding tachyon, more powerful than a collapsing star, and able to leap between planets in a single bound, end quote. Now, not only does he have all of these additional powers, he's also immune to the effects of kryptonite, red sunlight and radiation, and even psionics. He'll keep and maintain all of these abilities as long as he keeps his pledge to Superman Prime to protect the Earth and the solar system. If he continues to do that, Superman Prime will continue to bestow these abilities upon him. Now in his first major storyline, Cal Ken is shown as being the descendant of Superman and the leader of the Justice League Alpha. In the 853rd century, Kal-El himself was about to return from his solar fortress of solitude after several centuries of being in the middle of the sun. As part of the celebration, Cal Kent went back in time to recruit the then-ancient Justice League of America. This was very interesting because the Justice League Alpha, which Cal Kent was a part of, has an equivalent to each one of the original Justice League of America characters, except for Green Lantern, but it is noted that they have Starman instead. The League is convinced to go to the future and participate in the celebrations, but before they left, Cal Kent helped the Superman of the past stop a Bell Reeve prison riot. Nevertheless, after they leave, Our Man releases what's known as the Our Man virus, and that affects not only people, but technology as well. It's later revealed that the virus itself is actually Solaris's artificial intelligence in its infancy, and the virus is spreading because Solaris is looking in all technology and organisms for its body. As a cure for this virus and to prevent it from continuing to spread across the world, the Justice League Alpha has to actually create Solaris a body this body being the form of a massive, artificially created star. Once the Solaris consciousness becomes a part of this body, he becomes self-aware. And with his massive intelligence increasing every second, he becomes a major threat to the solar system at that time. The Justice League Alpha is able to temporarily defeat Solaris, most credit being given to Starman because he sacrificed himself in order to banish Solaris into a black hole. Now Justice League Alpha's time machine is damaged and is unable to reach the 853rd century. This is when it's noted that Cal Kent actually punches through the time barrier to help bring his team back to their original century. They end up getting there just in time to witness Superman Prime's final destruction of Solaris. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Cal Kent a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. 
I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.